Hi, so this is Susie from Women's Fight News and I'm here with Sky Nicholson and we're here in Cardiff for the press conference. So how are you Sky? I'm really good, I'm really good. Um, you know I love Fight Week, uh, always good feels, just really excited to get in there Saturday night now, get the job done. So how do you feel it's going to go Saturday night, what have you been working on? We've been working on so much, uh, working a lot more on the inside game, uh, being more aggressive, being more spiteful, so I'm, I'm really excited. I, I feel like we're going to see a different Sky Nicholson on Saturday night. Uh, I really don't want to let this opportunity pass me, I, I, want, to, I want to impress people. And obviously this, the same opponent as another prospect at Featherweight was Raven Chapman who fought in the last fight. Um, so have you been watch, did you watch that fight and what, what do you think you're going to do based on that? Yeah, I did watch that fight. It, it wasn't um, it wasn't on purpose. Getting obviously the same opponent as Raven, especially so close. It wasn't to compare me to Raven or our performances or anything like that. But my opponent pulled out, and um, this opponent became available, and it was it was a good option for us. I saw she was tough, she was durable. Um, she she went ten rounds with Raven, so uh, we expect a, a tough girl coming in there. And um, no, I'm I'm really excited. I, I feel like I'm a much more completed fighter now, and and that's what I want to show people. Uh, and obviously lots of people, because you're both prospects, uh, talk about a fight potentially down the line. Is that something you're, you're open to? Oh, of course. I'm open to all the big fights. Um, uh, I have so much respect for Raven. I think she's a great athlete, a great boxer. Um, but if that's a fight that, that people want to see down the line, I'm, I'm sure we'll definitely see that fight happen. Um, and also social media. Now, it can be brilliant, it can be terrible. Yeah. Um, there was a little bit of backlash after your last fight, which I think was unfair because you, you got the belt. <laughs> it was Madison Square Gardens. Um, you know, you, you haven't been pro that long. Um, so what would you say to people that, that, that criticise like that? To be honest, I was probably harder on myself after that fight than anything any of the random said on Twitter and Instagram. So um, I... I don't even read into a lot of it, but the stuff I did read, like a lot, a lot of it was criticism that was, I think, coming from a good place. I don't think people were trying to be disrespectful. Some people are. Um, it comes with the the job, unfortunately. But um, I, yeah, at the end of the day, I got the win. It wasn't a great performance. It wasn't um, a fan-friendly fight. Um, she didn't have a style that made me look good at all, uh, and. I learned a lot. I learned so much from that fight. Uh, I went back in the gym with a completely different mindset. Uh, I was much more open and eager to learn more about the pro game, about fighting in close range. Um, yeah, so I feel like it's it's done wonders for me and I feel like I'm a much better fighter because of that fight. And even though I didn't get to um, perform and give the, the performance that I, I wanted to give uh, in Madison Square Garden and that opportunity that I had, I, I learned a lot and um, I think I'm going to take a lot of what happened in that fight with me into my career. Um, also, you happen to have one of the best fighters ever in your division as holding all the belts <laughs> in Serrano. Um, and I know you've talked about wanting to fight Serrano in the future. So do you see that as a fight that could happen? Because um, my worry personally is, is whether she retires or yeah. what, what happens down the line. To be honest, of course, like all of the all of the featherweight prospects see Serrano as, as the end goal, as the big fight. Um, and I don't think there's anything wrong with me saying that I want that fight, even though I seem to get a lot of backlash for that as well. Um, but I, I, from what I've gathered from Serrano's posts, interviews, etc., um, she's probably only going to have a few more fights. So the likeliness of me being one of those fights, I think, is pretty slim. Um, if the opportunity arises, I will be taking it with both hands. But um, that's not the be all end all for me. The the be all end all for me is is winning belts is creating a legacy. Um, I'm focused on my career and I'm not focused on who gets in the way, it's just getting to that point and getting the job done. Um, just thinking about something else that I don't think anyone else has touched on because you've got a British um, passport. Yeah. <laughs> Have you thought about going now that the British title seems to be on the line because we're going to get um, Lauren Price is fighting with Bavo for the welterweight? In inaugural title. Is that something you would look to? I mean, normally, obviously, Commonwealth would be the next step after yeah. that, so it would be in, in some ways a step back. However, it's such a lovely belt and got such prestige. Would that be something you'd think about? To be honest with you, probably not. Um, I, I always represented Australia my whole boxing career. I went to the Olympics um, for the Australian team, the Commonwealth Games for the Australian team, so I don't think it would be right to fight for the British title, even though I am a dual citizen. Um, but same with not fighting for the Australian title. We went straight to the Commonwealth title anyway. I don't really see um, me boxing for an Australian title or a British title um, at the stage I'm already at in my career now anyway. Yeah. 
and then you're not picking sides. You, you're both. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> right, now we're in lovely Cardiff again. Um, second time you're fighting here. So I'm going to do a little quiz. See how well you know Wales. <laughs> so I'm going to start off simple. So capital of Wales. Cardiff. Yeah, yeah, here we are. <laughs> um, and what colour is the dragon on the flag? Red. Yes, perfect. Um, what is lava bread? This is a tough one. I don't know if many Welsh people, well, probably Welsh people know. But. Is lava bread different to Welsh cakes? Yes. Okay. I don't know. It's seaweed. It's a speciality oh, yeah. seaweed dish in, okay. from Wales. So, um, but you know, well, seaweed, so. you know Welsh cakes though? I do know Welsh cakes. My good friend Caitlin, she's from Wales, um, she got me Welsh cakes after my last fight in Cardiff. So um, what do you think of them? Treat. Loved them. Loved them. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. And true or false, Wales has the most uh, castles per square mile in the whole of Europe. True. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there we go. There's a lot of history here. Love so, <laughs> Right, on that note, well, thank you very much and good luck for your fight on Saturday. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed the video, please hit like. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any future content. And why not check out any other videos on the channel? You can follow Women's Fight News on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.